What is up everyone? My name would be Josh. This is Strain Central and today we are going to be doing an unboxing on this ginormous box of glass. So this box of glass is pretty much just about the size of me and I think there's like four different bongs in here. So we're pretty much just going to get right into unboxing that after I do take a dab of this Orange Crush. So I think Orange Crush is some kind of like Calio Cross all I can really tell you is it tastes like delicious orange peels, so I definitely hope you guys are smoking along, dabbing along, vaping along, getting those cannabinoids nice and deep into your lungs, because these are going to be deep into mine, but I am so, so, so stoked to get this box open, because you guys have been giving me shit for not having heady glass for quite a while, so I actually basically decided I would pick up at least one heady piece, and then a couple of relatively well-known pieces, and we would just do like a little unboxing, but... This entire box of glass did come from thickassglass.com, and I do believe I have a discount code. I think Strain Central either gets you 5 or 10% off, so definitely make sure to go, like, check out this Hitman sale. But, uh, oops, I kinda just gave a small hint as to what I'm about to unbox, but... Cheers, guys! Let's take a quick rip off of this upline tube. I don't think I have a carb cap for this, though. Cheers! Ooh, that upline. <coughs> <coughs> Such a flavor saver. Oh my goodness. I could sit on that flavor all day. <coughs> oh my goodness. So, I'm pretty sure that I like super high temp that dab or something because that le le like blah, 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 legitimately destroyed my lungs. Oh my goodness. So I don't know how large of a glob that was but uh r.i.p but let's get right into unboxing so we'll go ahead and just start with one of these i don't even know exactly what this is but let's get into it Ta -da! a hitman five i think it's like a five and a half inch birthday cake stack so these hitman tubes they hit like absolute champions and i love these for just like little micro rigs so as like a cup holder rig, this fits almost perfectly because it's like the perfect size. And then it also kind of does work as like a center console rig if you really want to. So dabbing on the go with these little Hitman stacks, they're super, super sturdy and they're pretty reinforced at the mouthpieces. So they are gonna rip. I'm super stoked to actually start using these, but that is just the first one. So let's get into unboxing the rest. I think there is some like adapters and like some drop downs and stuff in here, but Honestly, we're probably just going to throw those aside for now and just get, like, the main glass out of here. So that one right there is the, uh, like, white and blue Hitman birthday cake stack. And then I believe this one should be the orange and white Hitman birthday cake stack. So we got two different little Hitman, like, birthday cake tubes that uh, I think I actually like the orange a little teeny bit more than the blue. That being said, I can tell you right now, these things are going to fucking rip. Alrighty, so we are going to go ahead and save the best for last, and I'm going to do this one next. So, this is... Dun -un, dun -un, dun -un. I mean, you can pretty much already tell somewhat what it's going to be. It's definitely a beaker tube. But, let me show you what it looks like. Let me show you the tube. So, this is probably uh, not so much like a heady piece, whereas... Those ones kind of are, but the last one is like the true heady rig of the bunch. That being said, I had to not, like, I had to throw down on one of these, is what I'm trying to say. It was a sexy straight tube, and I had a really hard time saying no to it, so why not, I thought, a nice little 18 inch, uh, I think this is an 18 mil, thick ass glass slime straight tube, so get all of this poly wrap stuff off of it. That's probably making for some wonderful audio. I'm sure you're absolutely loving the noise of that. Okay, I think I got all of the horrible sound stuff off of it. But this is, like I said, an 18 inch thick ass glass slime uh, straight tube. So I don't know if they included the down stem or if that's something I will have to buy. But I don't see a down stem anywhere included. Oh, wait, nope, that's probably exactly what this is. But uh, that's going to be pretty awesome, especially for like any kind of big beaker challenges. Throwing that alongside like the Cheech tube or really any other tube is going to be absolutely awesome. 
Alrighty guys, so I clean this up. I always do that with new pieces just to make sure to get all like the production like material and particulate out of the pieces. And uh, loaded it up with a bowl of some of this Arm Farms Alien Orange Cookies. So, I don't know where the fuck I keep losing all my hemp wick at. Like, I have no clue where my hemp hives holder is. I lost my beeline, so I just found like a random strand of hemp wick at some random spot. So, I really hope I didn't like use this for a pendant at some point. That being said, <laughs> cheers. Also, I like measured this against my cheats tube. This is officially my new largest bong, so... Let's see how uh, intimidating this thing is, but cheers, guys. Holy hell. Confirmed. That is a, a, a large bong. Honestly, I love those hits that you can just, like, stack, though, because they're not that harsh. It gives you that like poof, kick to the chest, like someone just like hit you in the chest, but it's not like that gaggy, disgusting, like cough that you want to do with like some smaller pieces. So this is the last piece in the box and I am so stoked to actually unbox this. So I have loved this artist's work for quite a while and the fact that I can actually get a collab piece makes it all the cooler. Oh my goodness, I genuinely cannot believe I own this piece so this is a uh, Voorhees or Mr. Voorhees Hitman recycler collab so it's their uh, like double barrel mini recycler and then there is two of these up uh, that, that that I cannot even words I'm so excited two of these absolutely awesome uh, like Voorhees goblin faces on the outside so I'm gonna get some close-ups of this piece because I'm so stoked So guys, I actually genuinely cannot even fucking express how sick this piece is. So apparently this is actually a, a 2014 rig and it's actually signed by Voorhees and the Hitman artists. So this is so sick and I'm so stoked to add this to my collection, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick dab on it. I'm almost kind of sad that I have to use like a, a dirty drop down on it, but there's no way I'm just throwing like a random nail on it and not actually using a drop down, so. I didn't really feel like actually taking the time to clean this. I kind of wanted to just hit this and see how well it functioned, but uh, cheers guys. I'm gonna go ahead and try this rig. So I took like a couple like really quick pulls out of it before I like even put the nail on and it feels like it functions fucking awesome. So cheers. Let's see uh, how well this thing rips. Wow, I think I might need to put a slight bit more water in it, but that did not even feel like a gigantic glob. <coughs> I'm so stoked on this, guys. <coughs> so I believe, since this is an American glass artist, I can technically call this one of my first true heady pieces of glass. And I'm pretty stoked to add it to the overall collection. But uh, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this like full little unboxing. I still am thinking about maybe possibly doing some kind of giveaway on one of these Hitman stacks because it would be cool to have two, but I don't know. That's something that I've been thinking about over these last couple days. So if I can find out a way to actually do some kind of giveaway on that, that is something that very well may be in the works. That all being said, thank you very much for watching today's episode. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys are all keeping that head up and trying to just stay positive. You're alive today. You were gifted with life. So try to live that to its like fullest potential. But stay positive. Stay medicated. Peace, guys.